Right, so I thought I'd, um, I thought I'd do a little video to talk you through my um, recording process for the Sunday hymns that are going out on YouTube um, on our Sun the Rides Methodist Church Sunday morning service hymns because I'm doing like, like the music and the video and everything is done from scratch and I'm not sure people realise how much or how little work um, goes into that some weeks so I just thought I'd talk you through it so I start with I used um, the example this week that I'm working with so the current hymn is um, Rami. So I've had my hymn list. The first thing I had to do was find um, find which book it was in. <laughs> so I've managed to find it in Mission Praise. Um, and it is. It's God is our strength and refuge, which is the tune. It uses the tune of the Dam Busters March. So the first thing I do, I look at verse 1 and verse 2 and 3 are different. So... Um, I th first thing I think about is the instrumentation and how I'm going to arrange it so with this one I've used um, the organ sound for all three verses um, but with the with the bigger church organ on the final on the very final verse and I've used the organ I thought use an organ sound for the top and bottom and then line the middle of the arrangement running through the middle with um, the first verse is going to be um, strings, violins and cellos. The second verse is going to be more a wind orchestra and then for the big final verse it will be brass. So trumpets, euphoniums, trombone sounds using the aerophone probably. Sometimes with the sound, sometimes I'll play the piano um, as it is. Sometimes I put the piano through my um, Yamaha app which alters the sounds of the piano. And sometimes I use real instruments, like I use a saxophone. Sometimes I use the aerophone. The other thing I occasionally do, if I'm using drums, I go to YouTube and I download the track that I want. So the next job then, if I just turn the camera around, is to um, get the recording done. So let me just show you this. So you can see in Cubase, I've got all these different tracks going. So with this, I record them these tracks one at a time so with this one I put in you open the project up go to project add track audio and it puts in a new track for you I then select the track I want click record and then just record whichever instrument I'm doing and these I do them one at a time just gradually add them in and build them up now the reason I've got time to make this video now um, is because I've got this far I've got as far as verse three, so you see, um, you see where I mentioned before. See where I said so. Verse one, verse one is these violins, violins and cellos in verse one, and then as we go on, you can see the tracks are changing. So I've then got these, these tracks of flute, flute, oboe, bassoon. And then I got this far and I was just about to record the final verse with a couple of trumpets and my aerophones batteries have um, died on me. So I will do that later on or tomorrow when my batteries have recharged. I shall add that in. So this, this is what I do. I record the one track at a time and when I'm recording, um, I play through my headphones. So you see that through the tracks there. So when I'm recording, I play through my headphones the, my lovely audio techniques really good quality love them uh, so I record through these and then for editing and mixing I listen to my speakers I've recently bought some monitor speakers so that I can hear better for the tracks for the mixing so that will involve um, changing the volumes on the instruments and add in any reverb or compression or anything that it might need um, it's quite basic what I do because I don't really know that much about it myself. I'm not like a proper music production engineer or anything. But I just thought I'd sort of talk you through the through the graduate like through the process, through the steps that I go through. So then once I've got um once I've got the audio file done, I've got all my tracks made, I just click on a little button that says export and then I have I have an audio track. The next thing to think about is um then doing the video, so putting the video together. So I look at the words and I think about um, think about images that I might want to use. And there's a website I use called Unsplash where I can get royalty free images. Um, so I do a little search in there looking for suitable things, which I then put into my video software. 
which I'll show you I'll show you the video software now let me just turn this computer turn the turn the camera around again this is back to front at the moment on my screen but I'm hoping that it's the right way around when I come to watch this back so <laughs> Vic's kindly given me a copy of movie plus um, so we can so you can see here I've actually got a file open already what is this is it, oh geez uh, father I place into your hands which we I've had to redo this because I played it last week made this last week but um, I've been asked to put some vocals onto this um, so I've just had to sort of rejig it and just swap the audio track over for one so I'll just show you I'll just show you from an empty one so I bring in so we bring in the media that we need so we'd have I don't really have anything, anything. <laughs> just go back to there so let's just have a look we'll have a go at an old hymn so we've got praise my soul so i just bring that down bring that into the into the music track and then um then i insert the text and in these in these boxes here so you put that in the overlay track and then in these this just to give you an idea of what happened so in this track in this in this one so i put the title in and then i add another one add another one for verse one and then add another one etc etc so i have all the words and that, then i line those up i line those up with the music um, to make sure the words are changing at the right time and then i put some pictures in so we go to the media again find some nice pictures so any pictures i've got on my computer so anything really let's have a, look, uh, a shot of ride so get a nice picture and then we put that into the video track and then drag that out to last as long as i need it to so you see you've got the video the image underneath with the words on the top and then the music playing in the background so that's basically all it is from start to finish so again just a sort of little summary and a recap of how that's done job by job so the first job is finding the music <laughs> and then i think about instrumentation and then i record that instrumentation track by track into cubase and then i export that file then i import that file into the video software where I add on um, images and words. So although it's not it's not as time consuming as it was when I started, because I've obviously had to learn to use the video software and I'm getting better at doing the audio editing as well. So um, the other week I came in on a Wednesday ready for the Sunday morning and I managed to get all three hymns done from, from scratch, from the start from the start of looking at the music to having the final video in six hours for the three hymns so i'm averaging about two hours per hymn about two hours worth of work goes into it obviously if they're if it's busy and there's lots of tracks like the one i'm making at the moment it's going to take a little bit longer but not too much and there have been some some things recently which have sort of chopped my time down a little bit so my new monitor speakers have made it a bit quicker because i can hear the track properly without having to export it wrong and then listen and re redo it and so that saved me a lot of time and um i've been lucky last week that sher put the lyrics into the um if she put the words for the hymns into a order of service so i just copied and pasted it from there into the video software so that saved me about half an hour as well so just i just wanted to do this just to let you know give you an idea of some of the background work that goes into into these um into the hymns and stuff that i do on a sunday so that's i think that's it that's all you need to know <laughs> any questions or anything or anybody wants anything to in any music they want to and i'm now capable of recording and editing to to that point and doing those sorts of things with it so i just hope you found this um informative and interesting